Hassan Hinal, you just heard Yusuf Adam speak. Uh, uh, your take on it. He said that he, one of the points that you may have left out is, is uh, the United Arab, Arab uh, UAE angle. Well, um, uh, that, that's, that's one. Uh, but uh, I think uh, one of the points uh, he brought up uh, is also important. Uh, that is the reaction of the United States to what was going on in Turkey at the time. I mean, at best, you can, you can call it ambiguous. Okay, but uh, you are not supposed to be ambiguous uh, about what is happening in your close uh, friend and allies uh, in, the, in that sense at the time. For instance, uh, John Kerry's re reaction was quite uh, ambivalent because he was saying he was actually at one, at one stage inviting the parties. Uh, he was talking about caution and uh, prudence. Uh, and what have you. I mean, uh, what you would expect, for instance, uh, from an ally uh, would be a, a openly uh, supporting the democratically elected government, uh, but that didn't come until uh, the United States and everybody else realized that the coup was going to be aborted. Mm -hmm. uh, whereas from early on, I remember, as I followed the events, uh, for instance, Kremlin issued a statement saying that uh, Kremlin was very concerned about what was going on in Turkey, and it was in the very early hours of what was happening. So these, these things are important, and these things basically leave their mark quite strongly on the psyche of the people, as well as on the government. Um, uh, BAE, of course, you know, a very close, uh, well, a close associate of the United States, if you like, was one way or the other again involved in what was happening. And uh, I would, uh, as, I, as, I, as I understand, in, before the coup took place, the BAE was sponsoring certain people and certain groups here and there uh, against the Turkish government. So that is also uh, being unearthed as a result of the coup attempt. All right. Now, I'm looking at, um, let's continue our sort of conversation on foreign policy. I'm looking at the, the, the transcript of President Erdogan's speech in which he uh, just gave, finished, just finished up at Istanbul Atatürk Airport. He said that, um, uh, just as we will never let go of our fight for our independence, our future, our enemies will also never uh, cease to put up obstacles in our path. I'm trying to sort of... Uh, translate this simultaneously um, and it's this mentality that we should be approaching what's going on in Syria what's going on in the Eastern Mediterranean what's going on in Cyprus what's going on in in, in the Aegean um, put that in perspective for us well uh, when it comes to foreign policy you have to be sort of uh, you have to be certain as to what you want to really do for instance, it would be in Turkey's no interest. No ambiguity. Uh, well, uh, you can occasionally have ambiguity as far as, it's, uh, as far as it serves your interest. For, a, for instance, there may be something fluid, uh, develop, there may be a developing situation about which you can't basically uh, formulate a clear-cut position occasionally. But for instance, I would say, uh, as, uh, uh, as one who has been following the events in the in the region and uh, as one who has been following Turkish foreign policy closely, it would be in Turkey's best interest to normalize its relations with, uh, with its neighbors. Starting with Syria, for instance, uh, even with Egypt and Israel, because one way or the other, we would have to have normalized relations with these countries, at least, at least in order to isolate the Greek Cypriots. Because as long as we, carry, we persist in our uh, verbal war of words with these countries, uh, then, uh, for instance, countries like Egypt, countries like uh, uh, Israel, Israel, who used to be, who used to keep the Greeks at bay in, in earlier, uh, before, for instance, when their relations with Turkey were quite, uh, were quite good, now have basically moved towards, they have gravitated towards Greek Cyprus. So uh, for no reason we are offering uh, through our foreign policy and through our bad relations with all these countries, the Greek Cyprus and by implication Greece, a number of friends and uh, allies. 
and this doesn't seem to be serving Turkey's best interests. Okay, Turkey may have a row with Syria, they, it, Turkey may have a row with uh, Egypt, uh, or another one with, with Israel, but you have to basically weigh the pros and cons, whether these rows are worth carrying on with. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in that sense, since we are now out in the Mediterranean, flexing our muscles, as we should be, uh, with regard to search and drill for uh, oil and natural gas, to protect Turkey's interest, as well as the TRNC's interest, Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus's interest, okay, we are out there and we are doing it. And militarily, we are strong enough to defy what the Greek side uh, is being trying to establish in the region. But at the same time, I mean, uh, a good foreign policy would be together with the policy, not only uh, uh, through the flexing of muscles. 